Hey everyone, welcome back to my DIY Home with Liz. In today's video, I have another garage sale haul to share with you. I went to a small town a couple of days ago and I went to two garage sales and one estate sale. The way I find my garage sales is I will go on to Facebook Marketplace and I'll just search kind of like a 30 mile radius usually in my area. Sometimes I'll type in the word antiques and I'll just see what comes up. I really like estate sales because you can get a lot of really good deals. You can get some really old farmhouse type stuff that you know we like now. So the first thing I found was a garage sale where this lady like knew her antiques. I mean she had some pretty expensive things but I ended up I think getting some pretty good deals. So I've been wanting to put together a crock with some rolling pins in it. So at that first sale, I found this one and she wanted $7 for it. It was a little bit more than normal garage sale prices, but I really liked it and wanted to get it. At that same sale, she had this little mini one and this one she wanted three dollars for you can tell the difference in the size the handles are just so cool and I don't even need to do anything to it at that same sale I was able to find these old soap graters and she wanted two dollars a piece for these and I thought these were just really cool and I thought these would look really great. I'm getting ready to redo my hutch in my dining room. So I thought these would be great for that. I also found this really cool old soap container. She wanted $3 for it. And I just thought this would be so cool sitting in my half bath downstairs. So I picked that up. And at that same sale, I found this really cool old box. It's kind of like an aqua light green color and it's got it's got the old tongue and groove to it. She had $7 on it, but I ended up getting this for $5. So from there we went to another garage sale and I spotted this big three tier bowl and she wanted $10 for this. So I just knew that I could do a really cool DIY with it and I thought you guys would enjoy seeing me decorate this. So I'm going to DIY this and decorate it up super farmhouse for you. and. Um, I thought, you know, $10 for that I thought was a good deal. At that same sale, I found these little jars. They have silver lids on them and she wanted 25 cents each for them. These are great. They look really cute together. They make a great pairing. These would look really cute if I chalk painted them in white and did a little wet distressing. So I'll probably end up doing that. After we left that sale, we headed to a estate sale. And this estate sale was kind of out in the country. I knew it was going to be some really cool stuff. One of the things that I found was this really neat cheese grater. I thought that looked really cool and would go well with the soap ones that I had gotten at the last sale. So I thought all of these would make a nice grouping of three. So I guess I was on a little bit of a rolling pin kick. I was kind of on the search for them because I wanted to be able to fill up a whole crock with them. So they had this one, which is just a regular old rolling pin for $5. I want to paint the handles of this. You guys tell me what color I should paint these handles because um, I already have the two that are the different color blue. So what would you do to these handles? And then at that same sale, she had another rolling pin that was missing this bottom piece, but that didn't bother me because I knew I was going to sit it down in a crock. So she gave me this rolling pin for a dollar. So I may uh, paint that handle as well. Oh, you guys, I just forgot to show you something that I picked up at the first sale we went to and that was this lid she had a ton of these lids out for sale and I just thought that was so pretty I figured maybe I would sit it out on my hutch or somewhere in my kitchen just as a nice like decorative wall piece and she wanted two dollars for this lid and I just love this 
So back to the estate sale that I went to, when we walked up, she had a ton of stuff sitting outside, but one of the things she had was this super old scale. It's like totally rusted everywhere, which I loved. And I asked her how much she wanted for it, and she only wanted $10, which I thought was a really great deal. So I went ahead and got this. So my mom had an extra crock at her house that she offered to give me to put my rolling pins in. So this is the crock and I got this from my mom so it was completely free. It also gave me two rolling pins. So I'm not going to paint this one because this one's old, um, but I am going to paint this one. So I'm probably going to paint a total of three of these rolling pins. So will you guys let me know in the comments what colors I should paint the handles. And then today I went by the thrift store and I didn't find a ton of things, but I did find these little um, Duncan Hines pans for 50 cents. And I'm gonna use these on the shelf in my hutch as risers. So um, I wanted to show you guys those because I know a lot of times you guys just like when I show you what I got at the thrift store. That was all the home decor I picked up at the three sales that I went to. And I wanted to suggest for you guys who have trouble finding this is try to find a smaller community that's maybe having garage sales that would have some older items like that. Or try finding estate sales if you're looking for those older farmhouse type items. Um, so that was all for my home decor. Now I wanted to show you some of the clothing items that I picked up at the thrift store. So if you're not interested in the clothing items, you can click off. But I have a lot of people ask me on my videos, you know, where did you get the shirt you're wearing? And I would say eight times out of 10, it's a shirt that I picked up at a thrift store. So in my everyday life, I usually wear pretty like neutral colors. They're not real flashy. I don't like a lot of color, but when I'm making a video, I really like more colorful shirts. I didn't do a great job today because I'm in all black, but I always look for more colorful shirts at the thrift store. But So I got this shirt and it's by Bazzolo, I think is the name on it. And my, um, I only go to my thrift store when it's half price day. So this shirt they had priced at $4 and so I got it for uh, $2. And my thrift store usually has shirts priced anywhere from four to eight dollars. And then their kids' clothes, they only price those at two dollars. So this next shirt is this one is Ann Taylor Loft. And this one was four dollars too. And it's long sleeve, so I probably won't wear it anytime soon, but I really like the detail on the front of it and thought it was cute and it looked really good on. So this next shirt was $6, and it's one of those see-through shirts. I've been loving those lately because you can really wear them, you know, in the spring, fall, and even into the summer because, you know, you just put a tank top underneath of them. This one was $6. It was by a company... It was made by Blue Pepper, and it's just got this cute detail at the bottom, and then it's got the cap sleeves. So... I like things like this that are bright and cheerful. So I got those three shirts. So the first two shirts were $2 and then I got the last one for $3. So I know people are gonna leave me messages in the comments saying there's no way they could find those prices at their thrift stores and I get it. The Goodwill around us does not have those prices. What I do is I go to a local thrift store in my area that has really decent prices and I always go on half price day. So if you find out when they have their half price day, maybe try those days and see if you can get a discount. Okay, you guys, let me know if you like seeing the clothing I picked up at the thrift store, either yay or nay on it. I don't mind showing you either way. I just thought I would put it out there because so many people were asking about my outfits. I have upcoming videos showing you how I use these items. I'm planning on redoing my hutch in the dining room and I'm also planning a farmhouse tray. So those will be out in the next week or so. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.